So in this video, I'm going to aim to describe everything that you need to know so that you can understand the basics of what a liquidity pool is and why it's so useful in the space of crypto. So what exactly is a liquidity pool? Well, for many cryptocurrency exchanges where a lot of trading of crypto takes place, there are market makers often helping out to ensure there is liquidity. And these market makers, they help out in the background. So you don't know them. You don't see them. They basically just facilitate trades and they make that money off the spread. So typically centralized exchanges, they work with an order book model, which is borrowed from the way a stock market typically operates. And there are some drawbacks such as timeliness of trade execution, fees charged for facilitating liquidity and traders transactions, so on and so forth. With DeFi or decentralized finance, there is no actual people like in the stock market, such as market makers. Instead, there are basically automatic market makers, which is just code. Code. Think of it as this, it's code thanks to smart contracts. And in simple terms, a smart contract is just code that says, if X happens, then make Y happen. And that code, it sits on the blockchain, making them more secure and the system more automatic. There's no people necessary to regulate things. In other words, transactions can occur without the need of some centralized market maker using the old order book method, but rather their smart contract technology ensuring that liquidity is always there. So in a liquidity pool, traders willingly lock two or more assets in a smart contract to create liquidity and any fees generated by future transactions goes to the liquidity pool providers. Think of two or more assets being locked into a contract as the pool part of a liquidity pool. Typically, those who volunteer to lock up their assets receive a portion of other people's transaction fees or other tokens and coins for helping out this liquidity. This incentivizes crypto holders to stake their coins or tokens in a liquidity pool so that they can make extra money off of that. They are called liquidity providers and often get LP tokens. LP, liquidity provider. The advantage of these liquidity pools is that they provide great liquidity, speed, and convenience. So let's use an example so that we can further understand in very simple terms, if you're a visual learner, what a liquidity pool is. So let's say this is a liquidity pool. And so let's say people come along and just for this example, let's say I create an ERC20 token. We'll call it the Promo Ambitions token or Promo for short. And my token is the green token. Now there's also red tokens, which is Ethereum. And you could swap Ethereum for my Promo Ambition tokens. Well, a liquidity provider comes along and says, you know what? I'm going to stake this many Ethereum tokens in the pool. So I'm going to go ahead and give them to the pool. And I'm going to go ahead and also put a bunch of these promo tokens in the pool as well. And what this will do is it will allow other people to go ahead, bring promo tokens so they could exchange for Ethereum or they can bring Ethereum tokens in order to buy promo tokens. And so how would this look? Well, right now I have 20 promo tokens in here and 20 Ethereum tokens. And although there's various types of liquidity pools, a lot of them, they're always trying to keep the 50-50 ratio and they use a similar formula. Now there's other videos that do a great job explaining this on YouTube. So I don't wanna complicate things by being an additional video that is putting out these equation videos. But let me show you what happens when somebody comes along and tries to buy some Ethereum or swap for some Ethereum with their promo tokens. So let's say, just for this example's sake, currently the price of Ethereum and promo tokens is exactly the same. So somebody comes along and they say, you know what? I'm going to take my five promo tokens. I'm going to put it into the pool and take out five Ethereum. So they go ahead and do that. They put five promo tokens and we'll go ahead and take out five Ethereum. So what exactly does this do? Well, now there's going to be 25 promo tokens in here but only 15 Ethereum. And because the equation for this liquidity pool, the automated market maker equation is working towards a 50-50 balance, 
What happens is that since Ethereum was swapped for, it feels like the price of Ethereum is going up and this is called slippage. So the more promo that goes in here and Ethereum taken out, Ethereum will go up in price. If somebody comes along and once again puts a bunch more promo and takes out a bunch of Ethereum tokens, well, Ethereum is going to go up even more. Now, how does this happen? Does the formula follow the exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini and say, well, how much is promo trading there? How much is Ethereum trading there? Let's match it. No, it only worries about this pool. But what happens is that somebody might come along with 10 promo tokens, take another 10 Ethereum out, and the price of Ethereum in this pool is gonna go up by a lot. But on Coinbase and Gemini, the price may actually be lower for Ethereum than it is in this liquidity pool. So what happens? Well, there's something called arbitrage trading and arbitrage traders. And what they do is they spot the inefficiency in this market because there's a lot less Ethereum here. An arbitrage trader, they aim to buy low and sell high so that they could take the profits. So what are they gonna do? Because on Coinbase and Gemini, Ethereum is selling for less than it is here, they're gonna go and buy some Ethereum on Coinbase and Gemini, right? They're gonna have to pay fees. You have to take that into account as an arbitrage trader. And then they're gonna come and interact with this pool because Ethereum costs a lot more here. Now, conversely, if somebody comes along and says, you know what, I wanna scoop up all of the promo ambitions tokens. So they bring a whole wad of Ethereum, they dump it in the pool, and they take out a bunch of promo ambitions tokens. This is gonna drive the price of Ethereum much, much lower in the pool, and it's gonna drive promo ambitions tokens much, much higher in price. And now someone comes along and says, well, Ethereum tokens are a lot cheaper in this pool than they are on Coinbase and Gemini. So they're gonna aim to go ahead and acquire a bunch of these Ethereum tokens here because they're cheaper. Then they're gonna take these Ethereum tokens, go on Coinbase or Gemini and sell them and take the profit because they're buying low and selling high. And that in very simple terms is arbitrage trading. Now, please remember, it is not always a sure thing that you're gonna make money in arbitrage trading, but it is safer than day trading, especially if you're able to do it immediately. The arbitrage trade are actually providing a service because they're ensuring that the price of Ethereum in this pool actually is very, very close to the actual price of Ethereum. And what do they get for it? Well, they get a little bit of a profit from doing the trade. So in a way, they are helping out. They're not exactly market makers, but they are people that spot on efficiencies and even out the prices among the exchanges. So again, there's various types of liquidity pools. Some of them, they only allow for a pair. Others, you can have up to eight tokens. You can have more than two tokens. For some, you have to put in both types of tokens, but in some liquidity pools, you could just put one type of token. So there's a lot of various types. But in order to explain it simply, liquidity pools use various automated market maker algorithms in order to attempt to maintain fair value of the tokens. Popular liquidity pool projects include Uniswap, which is a decentralized ERC-20 token exchange that supports 50% Ethereum contracts and 50% ERC-20 token contracts, allowing you to swap for many different ERC-20 tokens. Balancer is an automated market maker that was developed on the Ethereum blockchain and launched in March 2020. Now, Balancer actually has a very interesting pooling protocol that I'm going to aim to cover in a separate video. Another interesting liquidity pool project that should definitely be on your radar, and I will make a separate video on it as well, is Bancor. It is the only decentralized staking protocol that allows you to earn money with single token exposure and full protection from impermanent loss. And it also has a very interesting way in the way that it does things. So look out for that video in the future. Let me know if this video actually helped you understand liquidity pools a little bit better, or if all I did was confuse you and made it mumbled and jumbled. Remember, as you go ahead and read articles, as you watch videos, if you're anything like me, you're going to learn some here, learn some there, but it's your job to fill in those gaps. And so if I mentioned anything that's confusing to you from automated market maker to our arbitrage to maybe even when I was saying bid, ask, spread, 
what you should do is just Google that, YouTube that. Keep educating yourself because the more you know, the better due diligence you could do. The better you'll understand these white papers, these articles about crypto, the better you're going to be able to foresee if a project is actually nothing. If it's just promising utility, but it's actually a garbage business model as far as crypto is concerned, and it's not really solving a problem or is not really viable. Also, it may help you spot potential rug pulls and that you have to stay away from because those are absolutely the worst. A lot of people lose a lot of money and it's always interesting, fascinating, in some ways entertaining to read about them and to see the story after. But I know people that have been involved in rug pulls and trust me, during the journey, it is not fun at all. It's very depressing and defeating and that's what makes people dislike crypto. They say, maybe this stuff should be regulated. It's too wild, wild west out there but anyways i digress let me know in the comment section did this help you understand liquidity pools which stock crypto options trading strategy do you wish for me to cover next i do it all on this channel i'm gonna aim to keep it going i appreciate you guys that have been helping this channel grow and i will see you all in the next video